Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. All this uh, swords energy, that's like the taming of the shrew. There's the three of pentacles vibes. So what is this about when it comes to you? Ooh, there's the chariot energy. Don't let your emotions overwhelm you now, especially when it comes to making business decisions. I've been telling you, Capricorns, consolidate, compartmentalize. So what's this vibe about? There's the Ten of Cups. I don't dance now. I make money moves. I don't gotta dance. I make money moves. Okay. So this is like the dancer vibes. Either you're the dancer or some of y'all could be attracted to a dancer. There's the Ten of Wands. Uh-oh. Isn't there a song, Don't Fall in Love with a Stripper? What's this about? There's the Six of Wands. Overcoming something here, Capricorns. What's the vibe there? Ooh, the Six of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Mmm. Crown on that. You got the King of Wands. There's the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, there's the Nine of Swords. There's that Queen. Oh, that's that Queen of Swords energy. Look at you. Some of y'all could be dealing with a redhead. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who wears like a, a wig or like extensions with the red hair vibes there. That's like super bright red. That's like a almost cartoonish type red hair. You know what I mean? Capricorns. There's the Five of Cups. The Empress energy. There's the Eight of Wands. Ooh, there you are, Capricorn. This could be someone that likes uh, the studs. Someone could like chocolate diamonds or onyx. This could be someone with five or more piercings. Damn. Some of y'all know better. I like this Empress energy. So this could be like the voice of reason. Uh, I feel like y'all have a voice of reason. Oh, look at this. Damn. Is there a song, Don't Fall in Love with a Stripper or something like that? I feel like there is, like from the 90s or something. One of those 90s bands. There's the Chariot Vibe. There's the Two of Cups. There's the Ace of Pentacles. And there's the King of Cups. Ooh, King of Cups with the King of Wands. Ooh. Someone here could have Whiskey Dick. Someone here could just not be inspired. Some of you that actually works to your benefit. That actually works on your behalf here. Between the King of Wands there and the King of Cups is the world vibe. Mm, so uninspired. Ooh. Damn. So, Capricorn, it's not that you haven't had opportunities. Masculine or feminine on this? This is genderless uh, Capricorn, right? So, if someone tried to impress upon you or create some sort of physical connection with you, I think you would, that was the least of your concerns. So, this could have been a date. This could have been some sort of opportunity for a hookup and you turned it down because that just wasn't what the fuck you were about. Some of you could be definitely more focused on uh, fertility vibes here or some of y'all just like uh, <laughs> contagious vibes. So, maybe you had to take a break because you had a burning sensation, but that actually kind of worked on your behalf here. Or maybe some of y'all were dealing with somebody that you knew was kind of, uh, uh, they weren't a good choice <laughs> in many different ways. Six of Wands here at the Will of Fortune. I feel like you keep avoiding all these toxic relationships or partnerships, but it's kind of like a setback energy. So this is when you're making decisions that you normally wouldn't make because things just weren't like going the right way you actually trusted something here maybe for once a capricorn you actually kind of paid attention to the vibes you read the energy of the room you read the energy of the situation so you were able to make some really smart choices oh there's that page of cups and there's the two of swords oh somebody was wanting to create some sort of connection here 
there's the six that some y'all this is like the budweiser frogs so oh who's trying to like wine and dine you it, it's kind of feeling like dead vibes here uh capricorn but damn that sure the fuck didn't work ace of swords there with the hermit they're at the fourth sword lord have mercy Some of y'all could have been dealing with a baby mama, baby daddy type vibe. So, sweet Jesus. <clears throat> I don't feel like there's a whole lot of fucking coincidence when it comes to you and like some of these relationships or partnerships wanting to come your way. Capricorns. Uh, this could be work opportunities. This could be uh, physical type relationships or partnerships. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of love. Uh, some of you all, this is be mindful of the whiskey, uh, goggles or the beer goggles, right? And page of pentacles there with the two of pentacles. Those of you that's focused on like, uh, you're very mindful, you know, it's like a fertile energy. So you're definitely taking precautions when it comes to your family planning. Some of y'all, your health, when it comes to, uh, whatever you're doing, if you're playing around. The hangman and the moon card. Some of y'all could have caught something and then you had to kind of take a break and that made all the difference. Ooh, there's a lot of patience when it came to this. Look at that. There's a strength card. There's the temperance angel and there's the ten of wands. So some of y'all could have been dealing with the Leo. Some of y'all could have been dealing with the Sagittarius. Something definitely worked out on your behalf when it came to this. This is definitely a very physical type uh, situation here with you Capricorns. So, uh, you know what I mean? So, sweet Jesus. Some of y'all and ex could have been trying to create some sort of relationship or partnership uh, between you and somebody else. It's almost at six degrees of separation. So, damn. Those of you Capricorns that did something completely different from what you would normally do. Some of y'all, maybe it was a health reason. Others of you, you just kind of knew the vibe wasn't right. So this is when you, you trusted your intuition on something. You said no, basically. Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, there's the Queen of Wands, and there's the Ten of Cups. Capricorn, someone could have been wanting to paint you in like a bad light with regard to a relationship or partnership. So someone could have been cheating uh, uh, on you, but they tried to turn it around or make it turn it around like you were cheating on them. So you were dealing with someone who basically, they had a plan, but you didn't like follow through. So, damn, you got some messy ass X energy here, uh... Capricorn, those of you with the Ten of Cups relationship or partnership, if this isn't romantic based, some of you, this could have that sort of work vibe on this too. So I keep telling you all Capricorns to compartmentalize your life, not to mix your uh, passionate connections with your work vibes. So this could have been like the same gender. So someone just thought you would like take the bait on something and have this sort of opportunity. Someone could have been wanting you to have sex with somebody that they knew was dirty so that you would get a disease. Some of you maybe need to take some time and get tested to make sure that everything is good. I feel like this was brought to your attention. So that's what makes the difference here. So damn Capricorns. You could have caught a disease off somebody and they're trying to say that they caught it off of you. This is a very unsanitary, a rather unhealthy vibe, the Capricorns. There's the Hierophant, there's the Three of Wands. Ooh. There's the Seven of Wands, there's the Ace of Wands, there's the Two of Wands. There's that Aquarius energy, and there's the Four of Cups. There is kind of like a group dynamic with this. But someone was expecting you to, like, uh, make the wrong decision. But you were far more grounded and focused. I mean, look at this energy with you. That's the sudden vibes. Some of y'all, this could have been during the last uh, freaking eclipse energy. Lord have mercy. 
you got a lot of fucked up energy around you, Capricorns, because you're basically making the smart choices. So this is like, let me elevate you because you are making smarter choices. Work, love, life vibes as well. So those of you Capricorns that have really kind of changed up who you are, the decisions that you're making, you're kind of staying out of those relationships or partnerships that are, damn, like financially draining. So whether this is romantic relationships or partnerships, especially with regard to fertility with you, uh, masculine or feminine vibes on this uh, Capricorn. Some of you, it's bad business partners. Capricorn, this is the vibe. If you're dealing with someone, you could be dealing with someone that likes to uh, create some sort of vibe where they can uh, use something against you. So some of y'all, this could be a partner. Some of y'all, this could be a business partner. So if you go out uh, a night on the town, those are, especially if this is like a convention type vibe with you or some sort of group dynamic, right? So if there's like a work group and y'all decide to go out, uh, have a few drinks. So who the ones that's all, who's the one that always has their camera out? Who's the one that gets like uh, on advancements? Because someone here is definitely they use uh, uh they use this vibe. Some of y'all, this could be an ex, or you could be dealing with someone that tries to say that uh, you gave them a disease, but you actually got it from them, or it, it's like that type of vibe as well. I don't know your life, Capricorn, but some of y'all just sit your ass down and do the opposite of what the fuck you would normally do. And then you, like, change everything up. Uh, some of you Capricorns did this, uh, probably not by choice, but it, it actually, like, worked on your behalf. This is like, um, everything works out for you, even though you don't realize that you were making smart decisions all fucking time. Uh, some of you that turned down a passionate connection just avoided some sort of, a uh, hiccup in your vibe. You're pulling good vibes to have all this sort of stuck, stagnant energy around you. Some of y'all, the fact you just weren't like all that sort of impressed or all that turned on. So I feel like you had some sort of, uh, it just wasn't it. Some of y'all, like, this is like take care of business where you go out on a date. So that way you really can't do anything. Uh, there's the page of swords. There's the five of swords. And there's a three of what is with all this fucking uh, stuck energy around you Capricorns. Um, this is almost cartoonish in a sense, Capricorns, because it's kind of like you avoid all the, the sort of, uh, uh, vibes that were supposed to keep you stuck. So this is like, if, if, if you had the player type vibe, you're like acting completely different. Uh, I don't feel like somebody really knew you well enough to even try to, uh, create this vibe with you. Whatever that tower moment was, some of y'all, it could have been a burning sensation. So you had to sit your ass out. So you know what I mean? So that could have just been nature. But I feel like you missed the burning sensation as well because you didn't like some sort of opportunity here. Those of you, definitely be mindful if you're doing some sort of group dynamic or some of y'all when it comes to the work that you do. Who's the person that gets ahead without doing a whole lot? So some of you are dealing with somebody that's uh, not that fucking trustworthy. Yeah, definitely make sure you're trusting your intuition. Someone's intuition was off as well when it came to this. So this is that be mindful of the Crosswatcher vibes. Because how do you really know that's your Crosswatcher's energy? Or how do you really know that's the sort of vibe someone's in? A lot of you, this is that sort of uh, miscommunication vibes as well. Tarot, take what's yours, leave what's not. And some of you, it's not exactly how the hell it appears. Those of you Capricorn, I'm getting ready to say Scorpios. So maybe you have a Scorpio moon. Uh, those of you Capricorns that's had a good cold read, 
So you, you've uh, you had the opportunity to be read by somebody that doesn't have time to look up all your socials or pull your charts and figure out everything about you. Uh, this is when you understand what a good read is about. It's not always uh, like a immediate energy. It's not always like uh, what you think as well. A good cold read, you go in not having any questions or any expectations, actually allows the energy to pull the right vibe. So that way, I don't feel like you were overly focused on anything else. That's what allowed you to kind of overcome these uh, tower moments. That feels like chess, those of you that play chess. Oh, that's like from the musical chess, One Night in Bangkok. <laughs> so those of you that know the musical chess, there's like this lucky charm energy with you. Things are lucky for you. Things work out for you, even though you don't even fucking realize you were making smart choices all along. Some of you with this four of cups, Capricorn, you will eventually find the perfect relationship or partnership, but damn, it's, it's, uh, I don't feel like you're in that vibe yet, or you're not in the right sort of energy for that, but damn, you got the will of fortune, so you definitely have that, uh, that sort of negative energy that's, uh, permeating what you got going on. Ooh. I definitely don't feel like it's a lack of relationships or partnerships with you, Capricorn. It's kind of the quality of... Definitely be mindful of uh, catfish and energy here with the Page of Cups there and that Empress vibe. The studs here. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who has five piercings. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who likes the chocolate diamonds or onyx. That also feels like, uh, for some of you... What the hell is it? Obsidian. So maybe... Uh, you have some obsidian piece of jewelry that you wear. That feels like earrings, piercings vibes. So, damn. Ooh, Cappies. Take what's yours, leave what's not. I love this energy with you. But for some of you Capricorns, this almost feels like cartoonish. So, I don't think you're overthinking anything. Some of you that just started, like, trusting your instincts. Some of you could have had to sit it out for a while because you had a health issue. So, that kind of worked on your behalf. Definitely be mindful of uh, who you get into relationships or partnerships with. Some of y'all definitely when it comes to, like, business opportunities. So, uh, maybe some of y'all, you don't go out for drinks with the work group. Some of y'all stay out of strip clubs. I feel like you're aware of this, but for whatever fucking reason, you're kind of not. There's almost like this uh, energy of uh, something like guiding you to make smarter choices here, Capricorn. Especially when it comes to your sort of uh, emotions, your feelings here. Uh, someone could be trying to out you, so if you... Uh, uh, that could be a work group dynamic, right? Oh my, oh my. I feel like you are that worker bee vibes. So definitely be mindful. Compartmentalize your life when it comes to your passionate connections, your romantic connections, your friendships, when it comes to work energy. So stay away from what doesn't feel right, what doesn't seem right, what doesn't uh, sort of uh, match your vibe right now. You're like the worker bee vibe. So this is someone that wants to like take the opportunity to take advantage of you. So this is like once you're out sort of doing what you're doing. Some of you, your relationships or partnerships. Definitely be making some healthy choices here, uh, Capricorn. With regard to uh, healthy choices. Healthy choices, family planning, all that good stuff. So, Capricorns, maybe some of you need to sit down and kind of have the birds and the bees talk with yourself or realize what you should be mindful of. Some of y'all could be getting testing done, so that could be why you took a little break to make sure that uh, everything is good. I feel like there's this health vibe with you. 
But the fact you started focused on that made all the difference. I feel like you disrupted somebody's plan. So I don't think somebody was expecting you to kind of make these decisions. Ooh, Lord have mercy. There at that seven of wands and there at that ten of cups. My oh my. There's the ten of wands. There's the two of cups. There's the queen of wands. There's the six of wands. So there could have been a health issue that uh, made you kind of pull your energy back here. So, I don't know your life. I don't know what you're about here, Capricorn. But those of you, kind of uh, take care of yourself. So, you know you. Some of you could have took uh, the time to do something. So, I definitely feel like there's a health factor on this. So, something definitely worked out on your behalf. Someone wasn't expecting this, though. Ace is here. There's that Queen of Swords vibe. There's the Judgment vibe. There's the Ace of Swords vibe. And there's the Four of Swords vibe. Lord have mercy. Damn Capricorns. But this is a sort of... It's a uh, cartoonish vibe with you, though, Capricorns. I feel like there's a whole lot you don't see because you don't need to pay attention to it. There's a lot of missed opportunities that you didn't realize were missed opportunities that could have brought in like uh, uh, negative vibes to the energy that you're in. Someone didn't expect you to do something. So those of you Capricorns have definitely switched your vibe up. I definitely feel like this has to do with like dating or relationships or partnerships. And for whatever reason, it just didn't quite work. Well, there's the page of uh, Pentacle vibes here. So if you turn down any uh, booty calls, you turn down any like opportunities because you weren't like feeling it or it wasn't like the vibe. Some of you, there could have been health reasons attached to it as well. You actually avoided some sort of stuck stagnant energy. This could definitely be ex energy. This could be like baby mama, baby daddy energy. Or someone who wanted to be a future baby mama, baby daddy energy when it came to a relationship or partnership with you. This definitely feels genderless. I don't know that it's, I feel like there's a work vibe with this as well. So do be mindful here. Be mindful of someone that wants you to, like, lose your inhibitions. So, who is trying to wine or dine you? Because that makes all the difference. You made some really smart fucking choices here. But you're dealing with some people that really aren't as uh, kind of clever as you. But I don't feel like you even focused on this energy. So, it's like, that's not even, like, in your purview. Some of y'all, that's not even, like, in your vocabulary. But, damn... Someone was doing or trying the mostest. There's that cartoon vibe on this. So it, it's like you you avoid all the hiccups. It's like cartoon vibe. Some of y'all, it's almost like... Um, I don't know. Think of those uh, like uh, near-miss videos or... Uh, some of, This is almost like Charlie Chaplin type vibes. This is like Buster Keaton type vibes. Uh, it feels like that, and you're just like, you're just navigating, doing your own thing. Making smart choices, whether you realize it or not, Capricorn. Someone does not like the fact, though, that you just kind of turned down this opportunity. So, you're dealing with someone that doesn't know you very well, or someone that thought they knew you very well, and then you went and done the complete fucking opposite on somebody. It was a choice. It was a choice, Cappies. This, it's like masculine feminine on this. So, damn. Some y'all be mindful of who you go out with. Be mindful of uh, that sort of vibe as well. Anything else for Capricorn on this? Oh, I love this energy with you, Capricorn. I don't feel like you realize what you avoided. 
Yeah, that's what made the difference there. There's that Nine of Cups vibe with you. So damn. There's that sort of creative vibe on this. Uh, so anyone who's creative, uh, those of you, if uh, this, you could be a tattoo artist, you could do, uh, this could be like a graphic design, right? You could be a writer. There with the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, have mercy. Your intuition was definitely on point. I'm not gonna write you a love song Cause you asked for it Cause you need one Ooh, Sarah Bareilles vibes on this Ooh, this also, uh She wrote, co-wrote, uh, Waitress, the Broadway musical Oh, well, what's the, what's the main song from that? Da 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 Ooh, those of you that know the musical Waitress. Oh, I can't think of the words. Da 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 You don't have to. I think you felt the vibes. I feel like you avoided that situation. Ooh, Lord have mercy, Capricorn. Y'all are speaking. There's the Ace of Cups. There's such a cartoonish vibe with you. So, uh, luck was on your side, and you don't even realize it. Definitely when it comes to these, like, emotional relationships or partnerships. Lord have mercy. I don't think you realize this, because you're not supposed to. So, this is so fucking interesting with you. Some of don't like the fact that you did make these interesting choices. So, there's an opportunity you were supposed to miss, but some of don't like the fact that you missed this opportunity. This is like a, I'm like a bird, I always fly away. I feel like you avoided that type of relationship or partnership. Mm. Take what's yours, Capricorn, leave what's not. I feel like this was just, <laughs> everything worked out for you and you really had no fucking clue. You really had no clue. You avoided being someone's karmic. That's for damn sure. Those of you that like obsidian, black onyx, uh, like chocolate diamonds. Obsidian. Piercings, more than five. Or five exactly. Take what's yours and leave what's not Capricorn. Ring the bell, Cappies, like, share, subscribe. Take what's yours and leave what's not. I don't even feel like you even tapped into this energy. You just is like, you went down and started doing your own thing. It's like Buster Keaton vibes, Charlie Chaplin vibes. Peace, love, and light, Cappies.